We've just got time to sneak in our elimination experiment where we're going to look at sugar. I've got some white sugar here on the, on the desk that you can see. The chemical formula for this is uh, C12H22O11. Its name is sucrose. Now, you're going to go into some more detail a little later on about fructose and glucose and what the actual structure is. I'm not worried about that this evening. I just want to show you the elimination reaction. In this bottle over here, you have some concentrated sulfuric acid. It loves water. It creates a highly exothermic reaction, and we're going to have a look at it in a minute. Let's actually get it going, and we'll make sure that we get this on uh, camera so that we don't uh, lose out. I'm just going to have to open the seal. Should have done that earlier. And I'm just going to pour some sulfuric acid into there quite a bit now watch carefully how the color begins to change um, notice how it's seeping through the sugar and it's going this yellowy brown color and very slowly if we turn it around you'll see that it's getting darker and darker now i'm going to leave it going there and in the meantime just very quickly so that we can see what's happening we've added some sulfuric acid i want to go to the board just to see what's going to happen uh, we're going to take away if you notice this reaction it's got 22 hydrogens and 11 oxygens and we're going to eliminate those okay look what's happening already the sugar is turning black it's going dark brown and it's starting to bubble to release. Watch carefully what's happening. It's releasing lots of gas and it's producing a large lump of a black substance that's spluttering up and rising out of the beaker over here. And there's quite a lot of heat around. Now I hope you can see that in fact this isn't white sugar anymore we've extracted all the water out of the sugar and we're left with a solid lump of black carbon so this is a, a wonderful elimination reaction where we've extracted all the the uh, the water out there's some extra gas because i put in some excess sulfuric acid and i've got some so2 floating around but that's great we're getting great visuals of the solid lump of black carbon and I, so just quickly to wrap off you must recognize we've extracted all of that water there and we're left with 12 units of carbon plus the leftover water h2o and we need to have 11 of those okay so i hope you can see that sulfuric acid i'm starting to smell the so2 it's really getting to me but it's fine has eliminated the water. It's the concentrated sulfuric acid, just like we did with the, with the uh, earlier alcohol experiment. It's eliminated. It's taken it off, and it's sucked it away. Now, remember what we've done this evening. We've gone through some basic organic reactions that occur for both grade 11 and 12. You need to make sure that you understand the difference between addition, elimination. Remember, those are reverse reactions of each other. And then substitution where one thing takes the place of the other <laughs>